Wake up! It's past your call time. We're ready for you on set. Woo! All right. Oh, I'm so excited to share this with you. Oh, this is the culmination of my life's work. This is genius. I finally did it. Something that I can truly 100% be proud of. It's perfect in every way, and I'm excited to have you be a part of it. You should be excited, too, because you're going to be able to make history here. You're becoming a part of something that's been my passion, my life's blood, all this time. And your passion, your excitement, and your performance is just as important. And don't worry, we'll do this together. Let's talk motivation. You're an aspiring actress with big, huge aspirations, but you're trapped here in this office day after fucking day. It's the same old shit. It's mind melting, horrendously boring, and you can feel your creativity fading away with each passing year. And you fear once you lose your youthful looks, it's all over. Your dream is dead, but your dream is you all the way down to your core. Without it, you're dead. And you're not gonna let this office kill you. You finally had enough. You're gonna take control of your life. You're furious yet driven at the same time, okay? You don't even know how lucky you are. We really do hope that you can feel the gravity of the situation because we're really making history here. Now, let's talk about wardrobe. Okay. I fitted you in a fairly generic attire with two distinct differences. I put you in white because you're a blank canvas with unlimited possibilities and potential. And the other is your laugh collar. Oh, I designed it myself, but it's not just your microphone and camera, it's also a remote control device that controls your handcuffs right now. Let me show you. <laughs> Take your place at first position. Remember, please be professional. I'm not afraid to go back to the casting phase, even mid-production. Okay, X marks your spot. Here's the scene. You storm through this office until you find your boss and you finally confront her. Taking that life and freeing yourself of this burden once and for all. The hallway, as you can see, is lit in color. Each has its own. I will be covering your every move with multiple remote operated dolly cameras. It's not too creepy, right? Now, this part's important, so please listen carefully. I'm a very vocal director, like my father. And for us, there's nothing worse than a difficult actor. If I'm strict, it's only because I've seen what can happen when filmmakers try to cut corners and when an actress doesn't follow the rules. So when I tell you to do something, please know I will not tell you twice. Other than that, it's a great part. Congrats on landing it. Rolling. <laughs> no! Cut! Back to one! You go on action! God, God damn it! Back to one! God so help me. Oh, Remember, you need to find your bag. You need what's inside to officially leave this place. Rolling. Roll sound, speed, and action! Okay, you gotta find, gotta find the bag. All right. Okay, go into that room. All right, good, good. All right, now look around. 
Look to the right. Look to the left. Wait a minute. No, no. Uh, uh, a couch. Could be under the couch. Okay, never mind. Move on. Move on. Remember, you have to get this bag. This is the only personal items that you have, right? This is your identity. All right, give me passion. Come on, little mouse. You got to find your bag. You got to find... No, no. God damn it. Yes. Where's the passion? Okay. Go. Go, mouse. Go. Find the cheese. Find the cheese. Find the big cheese. <laughs> I killed myself. Find the cheese. Go, go, go. Yes. Oh, is that it? Look to the left. Go, 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 scurry, 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 scurry. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Wait, 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 Continue. Let's get, get your head back in the game. Let's go. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. Come on, little mouse. Faster, 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 faster. Come on. Go, go. Run, run, run. Oh, it's locked. You can't go in. Don't get too much in your head here. We got a mission. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, go. Don't look at the camera. Find your bag, for Christ's sakes. You gotta find your bag. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at Keep your eye on the prize. Okay, look around. Wait a minute. Hold on. What's that? Is that your bag? I just don't know what happened. Was it me? Of course it wasn't me. I'm perfect. I'm great. I'm genius, for Christ. It was you. It was definitely, definitely you. God.
actually. She was a beautiful woman. Well, if you'd go ahead and take a seat and make yourself comfortable. Today. Um, and we're rolling. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Great. So, my name is Evan Pinnell, and this executive producer, and this is a recasting role for the lead role of actress. Oh, I'm sorry, actor. Of course, I have. No, it's, it's okay. Well, I hope you don't mind. I'd like to see what you look like in close up and wide shot. Not a problem. Great. So, if you could just tell me a bit about yourself, where you're from, what brought you here, and most importantly, why do you love acting? Okay. Um, uh, my name is Natasha Mortensen. Um, I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Um, I, um, I love acting because it's the best way I know how to express myself. Um, I did my first, I guess you can call it, stage production. Um, when I was in kindergarten, I was five, I was Wendy in Peter Pan, <laughs> and um, I used to run around and pretend I was characters um, when I was a kid all the time, so actually doing it on stage in front of people and then getting praise for it was just a totally different experience and I found out that's what acting was so um, I wanted to do that all the time and my mother um, enrolled me into kids acting classes and I've been doing it ever since and then um, I did community theater and um, then I went to a conservatory and then I moved to New York and I did some off-Broadway stuff, um, but it didn't really pay the bills. I did the typical waitress jobs and any other jobs I could get. Um, and now I'm doing film work because, you know, there's more money in that. Um, so here I am. I guess I am now what you call a, um, a struggling actor. <laughs> yeah, it could be a hard world for struggling actors. Believe me, I know. Yeah. Um, so, um, what about you? What made you want to make movies? My parents, actually. They were both in the movies. My mother was an actress, and my father was a producer. My mother was an artist, and she did all the posters for my father's movies. Actually, look on the back wall. These are some of the things that they worked on together. Oh, that's so cool. Because they worked together, and the budgets got smaller, and it was clear that you know they weren't really going to make it big. My mother became the lead actress in my father's movies, and as time went on, um, and it became apparent that they, they weren't going to make it big and that their dreams were not going to be realized. It slowly killed them both. Oh. No, no. It was a long time ago. I was very young. Well, I see you do have a great bit of experience here on stage. And some stage combat, but how many movies have you actually been in? Um... Well, um, like I said, I'm, I'm just starting to do more film work. Um, I've had some supporting parts, but if I were to get this role, it would actually be my first big role. Well, from what you've told me so far, this does seem to be a big departure from what you've done in the past, so why were you attracted to this role? Um, well, when I read it, it... Um, it really resonated with me because um, the character is just, she's such a strong woman and 
despite her struggles, she, um, I love the way she just comes out of it. Um, she's very resilient and I don't want to get too personal, but um, what I'm going through right now, um, it's the type of role I feel is perfect for me right now, and I think I could do a lot with it. Well, this sounds certainly like something that's close to your heart for one reason or another. Maybe you're running from something, but we're all running from something. So hopefully you can channel that fear into a great performance. Yeah. So that's great. Um, this is actually my first time directing, and uh, hope we can learn together. Well, actually, that puts me at ease. Um, makes it very, <laughs> makes it less intimidating for me. Um, it would make me much more relaxed. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Just one more question. How do you feel about improvisation? Um, improvisation? I. Well, coming from the theater, I'm <laughs> pretty experienced in it. Um, things happen, and you have to be willing to improvise, so you have to be quick-witted, and anything can happen, so. I couldn't agree more. I love to capture the moment. It really helps it feel more real. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You know, you really do remind me of her. She was a budding hungry artist eager at the chance to show off. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel great about this. I think I'm ready to cast you right now. <laughs> really? Like, just like that? I mean, you don't want me to, like, run through lines, or...? No, no, not yet. I'd like to get to know people first. It's just... For me, it's all about execution, and... I just really think you could be perfect in this part. Okay, well, that's great. I mean, I can't wait to work with you. Great. Did you remember to bring the bag? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's right here. Camera, find your bag, for Christ's sakes. You gotta find your bag. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now that you've got the bag, you have to find your boss's office. We're looking for a door that says boss on it, okay? Go! Go, 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 go. Wait a minute, is that it? Turn to your right? Oh, nope! <laughs> I got you again, I got you again. Oh my god, is that it? Yes! Yes! just like you. But she made the wrong decision. Look at her now. She's so small. So insignificant. So forgettable. Do you want to end up just like her? It's all in your control. You have a chance to make the right decision. You have a chance to be redeemed. You have to seize the opportunity. And I want to believe it. And now... Reach into your back. You get to make the choice. She has to die, and you have to kill her. And what's an excellent metaphor for overcoming your struggle? You destroy that which opposes you. I know it's a life, it's a life, but don't worry, it's okay. I mean, you know, it's a life for a life here. Who do you want, her like that? Push the goddamn button, push it. End her life, end her life, end your suffering. Do it! No, please. This is my movie! How dare you defy me? Push it! 
Killer! Killer! Do it! Push the goddamn button! Do it! Do it! Killer! It's you or her! What are you doing? <laughs> Strange, done this a lot, and you really have inspired me. I want to thank you for that. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to recast your role. You call it creative differences, and call it whatever you like. You understand. <laughs> To tell you there is one thing I've come to realize over many years of doing this. Filmmaking just always comes down to one thing and one thing alone. Execution. feel pretty good. I mean, I, there were definitely some very powerful moments. I mean, I definitely feel like I connected with the idea of the character and was able to connect also with being able to relate to her in a human way, almost, to my art, but at the same time, like, I'm not completely a sadistic evil person. I sort of was like, but you know what I mean? Like, trying to immortalize her for the film, even though she's going to die, she's going to be able to live on, you know? I don't know. It was, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel pretty good about it. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Police Department.